I'm not a great morning person. So I wake up probably by then there will be I switch on my sets of music that I hear and my husband and I are very enjoy that kind of environment. Uh take my first cup of hot water with lemon and honey. And then just get on with the flow I guess. I grew up in Kenya, Nairobi. There I used to whenever I would find time have a cup of that same hot water lemon honey and just take a quick stroll outside. Um but here it's all and the way the days goes these days in the at work um there's hardly any time to do that and I usually reserve that for the evenings if I get home early enough. I'm a pretty much a night person. So I like my evenings, the late nights. and the really late nights sometimes if i can afford to stay up um and so morning sometimes gets a little difficult <laughs> yeah. i was always uh, sort of oriented towards academics although i enjoyed the whole process i didn't see myself as a pure academic so that's the time where i got exposed to startups because at imperial college London we had uh, uh an incubator of our kind i did work uh, for a few months in uh, a couple of these startups march 2013 incubation cell was announced as with its objectives which is the idea was to promote and help um students faculty of iit madras to create companies alumni to come back and create companies and professor krishnan said there is a professor called professor ashok junjunwala who is driving all this he's behind all this and you have to go meet him and that's how the conversation started and i was the first person to be hired into this project at that point so literally from registering uh, incubation cell as a section 8 company to writing the constitution to writing our initial first policy for incubation to agreement templates it's been a great great learning which i think as an academic may have helped but not in in the manner that i do right now and the way i appreciate the work that people from all kind of faculties do i wouldn't have been able to do that as a pure academic as a scientist a biophysicist for example if i were to so yeah So if I say you are entrepreneurial doesn't mean that you need to be a founder of a company it's just the way you approach life creative risk taking um very passionate don't give up easily these are very uh, entrepreneurial like right of course these qualities i feel are very very important which is doggedness you know i'm in this and i'm going to do all my best and not give up you know that doesn't mean that you are stubborn Now these are a lot of things that a person alone cannot do. So you should be humble enough. And that comes with maturity, right? Honestly, I've not thought about it. People may not like hearing this mm -hmm. coming from the CEO of Incubation Cell and then here we have Professor Show who always is like five years down the line, 10 years from the line. Right? I as a child growing up in my school days to college days honestly i never had a plan like one year down the line two years five years i want to be the ceo i want nothing of that sort i've never had such plans so uh i've kind of followed my some kind of inner calling you can call it inner calling or whatever you know and i'm always curious about new things that's what has driven me right and always this thing about excelling in things that's what i hope i keep doing doing so do hope in the next 5 years of my time i visit at least few of the places i want to visit in my list of things with my bag full of camera and my lenses and have a exhibition if not publicly but in my own house saying these are the photographs these are my journey and these are the people i've met that is certainly something i'll do in the next 5 years my 
father, my teachers. Uh, in my college, I would say during my PhD days, there were multiple people who had very short influences. Of course, my colleagues, you know, brilliant guys at, at Imperial Radio and some of them. I used to feel like, oh, what, why do I think I've achieved anything? Look at these people, right? Um, so Ashok, certainly, I spend more time with him than I have with my own dad. Um, so we, uh, so there is no way that he will not have an influence on me. The other person uh, who I find um, extremely inspiring is Mr. Murugan. He was the first, in fact, mentor of that profile, and foremost, of course, my husband. From you know, uh, it's just being a great friend and how supportive he is, and I learn a lot from him also. And the kind of discussions we have about everything in life, you know. So I think uh, these are the few people.